Hey everybody. Section 1 of the Doctrine and Covenants, verse 30 reads, And also those to whom these commandments were given might have power to lay the foundation of this church and to bring it forth out of obscurity and out of darkness, the only true and living church upon the face of the whole earth with which I, the Lord, am well pleased, speaking unto the church collectively and not individually. The phrase, the only true and living church, is a treasured one among members of the LDS Church. If true, it lends legitimacy to the church and its claims. However, Latter-day Saints have a tendency to focus on the words only and true. Together, these two words mean our church is God's church, a claim unshared by anyone else. But in all the discussions I've heard, or talks I've listened to, very little attention is given to living. Something that's living breathes, it grows, it adapts, it makes mistakes, it has successes, it moves, it engages, it interacts. Something that's living isn't stagnant, it isn't stationary, it isn't rigid, it isn't static. It's the only true and living church. Yet it feels so lifeless. Someone needs to check its pulse. If you agree with the points I've raised, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. If you do disagree with the points I've raised, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.